MEPs voted on Tuesday to start implementing reforms of the EU's emission trading system by the end of 2018, three years earlier than the Commission's proposal. The reform will see millions of surplus carbon allowances withdrawn from the market and placed into a so-called market stability reserve. The measure aims to boost carbon prices on the EU's carbon market and stimulate low-carbon investments. But the Parliament's vote disregarded calls by green NGOs and member states such as Germany and the UK, who pushed for an earlier start date. Every year that they will postpone um, starting the new reserve, uh, the surplus will grow even bigger. And the surplus that is cert cert uh, at the moment suffocating the EU carbon market uh, will become uh, at some point unbearably high, so high that it could bring uh, the EU's carbon market on the brink of collapse. MEPs and NGOs gathered outside the Parliament on Monday ahead of the vote to demand an early start of the policy. Campaigners also say that these toxic tones endanger the functioning of the EU's ETS altogether. If Europe does not act, they say, countries will take matters into their own hands. The ETS right now has accumulated a massive oversupply of emission allowances and is not delivering the carbon price signal that, that we need. If this is not dealt with in Brussels, then member states will take the matter in their own hands and we will look at carbon taxation policies, standards for the power sector, etc. So it, it needs to be dealt with urgently. The ETS is Europe's attempt to cut greenhouse gas emissions by charging for the right to emit carbon dioxide. But weak economic growth has cut industrial production and energy demand, creating an excess of more than 2 billion permits.